Apple recently released a commercial for the iPad that garnered an avalanche of mockery and derision, and understandably so. It's inadvertently dystopian. In the commercial, a gigantic hydraulic press attempts to crush seemingly all of the greatest achievements of civilization to create the thinnest iPad ever made, to the tune of All I Ever Need Is You by Sonny and Cher. The hydraulic press itself seems some distant cousin of the brutal execution machine in Franz Kafka's short story, In the Penal Colony, but I digress. Russell Brand absolutely eviscerates the commercial in a recent video, and I've linked it in the details below. However, what the commercial most reminds me of are the final pages of Herman Hesse's novel, Steppenwolf. Regardless of how soul-crushing the relentless onslaught of technology has been to so many of us for so many decades, beauty and truth in all its various guises still manage to find a way to manifest themselves amid all the refuse and din that invade our days. Hessen nails it when the main character, Harry Holler, laments the state of music because of the invention of the radio and gramophone at the time. Even amid the distortions produced by the infernal gadgetry, he still can't help but make out the divine music. Here is Hesse describing that revelation perfectly. Quote, and in fact, to my indescribable astonishment and horror, the devilish tin trumpet spat out, without more ado, a mixture of bronchial slime and chewed rubber, that noise that owners of gramophones and radios have agreed to call music. And behind the slime and the croaking there was, sure enough, like an old master beneath a layer of dirt, the noble outline of that divine music." Unquote. I think there's great vindication in those lines, especially when so many of us feel crushed by existence ourselves, trapped beneath the hubris of so-called convenience and progress. And it's almost impossible to avoid all this gadgetry and nonsense with the demands of work and life. Heck, I'm creating this on a MacBook. Returning back to Hesse's Steppenwolf, the apparition of Mozart chides the hapless Harry Holler for getting so caught up in ephemera instead of what is eternal. It's almost reminiscent of Krishna's rebuke against Arjuna in the Bhagavad Gita concerning the nature of reality. Quote, Pay attention and you will learn something. Observe how this crazy funnel apparently does the most stupid, the most useless, and the most damnable thing in the world. It takes hold of some music played where you please, without distinction, stupid and coarse, lamentably distorted to boot, and chucks it into space to land where it has no business to be. And yet after all this, it cannot destroy the original spirit of the music." Hesse then makes a decided shift toward the universal and toward our collective lot here on earth. Quote, when you listen to radio, you are a witness of the everlasting war between idea and appearance, between time and eternity, between the human and the divine. Unquote. And so when I view that unintentionally hilarious Apple commercial and so many more like it that we are inundated with, I take refuge knowing that there remains inside and outside of us something unconquerable, undestroyable, beautiful, and even divine. What are your thoughts on the aforementioned iPad commercial? Have you read Steppenwolf? Please like, subscribe, and comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. And thanks for watching.